Welcome back. The subject of discussion today is lactic acidosis. A uh, normal range of lactic acid in the blood is less than 2 millimoles per liter. By definition, uh, we need two points like uh, lactic acid level more than 5 millimoles per liter and pH less than 7.35, acidotic, because of acid production. And uh, more than um, 8 or 10 millimoles per liter have a high predictable mortality. Very, uh, very few patients um, recover from this uh, high level of lactic acid. Uh, lactic acid uh, represent a good tool for assess for assessing patients in septic shock, in uh, hemorrhagic shock, hypovolemic. Uh, but in athletes, uh, healthy one, severe acidosis is normal because they have uh, normal functioning enzymes and uh, lactic acid is metabolized very quickly. How this does occur in reality? Uh, this is a cell, glycolysis occur in the cytosol, uh, production of, uh, lact of pyruvate and lactic acid. This lactic acid is passing to mitochondria and uh, is metabolized to is metabolized. Uh, enzymes required for uh, meta metabolism is uh, is lactate dehydrogenase, and cofactors required are thiamine and biotin. Thiamine is both of them are vitamins. This one is vitamin B1 and biotin is vit vitamin B7. Uh, by pathophysiology, uh, lactic acid is produced uh, uh, constantly and is like 0 0.8 millimole per kilogram per hour. If patient have 100 kilograms, it will be 80 millimole per hour. So acidosis occur when the production of lactic acid exceeds the metabolism or um, uh, hyperproduction or decreased metabolism. Uh, main enzyme, yes, is lactate dehydrogenase. Substrate is pyruvate. Uh, you can see this reaction, pyruvate uh, passing in lactate. And enzyme is lactate dehydrogenase. Uh, for example, cellular alkalosis increases the glycolysis and pyruvate formation. If pyruvate is formed, subsequently it passes in a lactate acid. Uh, excess oxygen supply decreases anaerobic pathway and results in less lactate accumulation. Uh, how we classifying as uh, lactic acidosis? Existing two types, type A and B. Type A in presence of tissue hypoxia and type B in absence of tissue hypoxia. How to understand this um, presence and absence of tissue hypoxia? Because it is an anaerobic reaction uh, and in presence of tissue hypoxia very severe causes are very severe hypoxia, uh, very severe anemia delivery and carbon monoxide poisoning that uh, impedes attachment of uh, oxygen to erythrocyte hemoglobins. In absence of tissue hypoxia, we have many subtypes. Um, type uh, B1 is underlying disease, type B2 is drug or toxin, and B3 is inherited uh, um, errors of metabolism. So from type B1, we have sepsis, liver failure, thiamine deficiency, uh, malignancy, ferrochromocytoma, and diabetes. In sepsis, we have a vasodilation and impaired uh, use of, uh, of glucose. In liver failure, we uh, have de in deteriorated metabolism in thiamine deficiency as a cofactor. Uh, type B2 is uh, 
declared by toxins or drugs we know a lot of drugs that uh, make uh, acute liver failure like and decreases capacity of metabolism from uh, liver uh, epinephrine producer or any adrenergics produce a vasoconstriction um, of liver vessels and it is uh, the same uh, hypoxia less blood delivered less uh, oxygen delivered also ethanol methanol and other alcohol that are toxic paracetamol and bigonides like metformin and type 3 b3 represent a uh, uh, enzyme deficient uh, patients it is inherited deficiency like pure weight carboxylase uh, glucose 6 phosphate dehydrogenase uh, that participate in oxidative phosphorylation and uh, combined um, abnormalities so let's count many many abnormalities that uh, have both types a and b malnutrition from vitamin deficiencies and uh, alcoholics uh, by uh, ethanol ethanol oxidation increases the conversion of pyruvate to lactate and inhibits uh, other pathway of lactate metabolism alcohol any alcohol is very toxic for for liver sepsis from impaired regional microvascular and mitochondrial dysfunction so impaired delivery of oxygen and mitochondrial dysfunction with mitochondrial membrane swelling deteriorates this uh, metabolism of lactic acid. Uh, also in severe sepsis interve intervenes uh, cellular inflammatory response and hypermetabolic state. Uh, cells need more uh, energy and uh, inflammatory response uh, release a lot of cytokines that also promotes this hypermetabolic state and lungs by ARDS or uh, acute respiratory distress syndrome injury and hypoxia of lung uh, also asthma is a cause of lactic acidosis by using drugs salbutamol or epinephrine by patients these drugs uh, increase gluconeogenesis and glycolysis and cyclic AMP activity. Salbutamol is a B2, B2 agonist and act like a, have an action on glucagon that increase gluconeogenesis. Uh, cardiac cause uh, by decreasing pump activity and inadequate peripheral oxygen delivery. Inadequate peripheral oxygen delivery. From a pump uh, activity and mesenteric ischemia by direct in, uh, injury and production of delactate is uh, one form specific from um, intestine flora that is shed in the blood vessel so after we know what are the causes and classification of lactic acidosis we need to know uh, management of or treatment many options exist um, uh, first one is to treat the primary cause or disorder like in sepsis give more oxygen and appropriate antibiotic uh, that will kill uh, bacteria that produce in, a, in the intestine uh, lactic acid and that promote this sepsis with aggravated microcirculation and oxygen consumption because in sepsis uh, vessels are dilated and consumption of oxygen is very poorly uh, appropriate in diabetes uh, give glucose and insulin but important is to give insulin we give this combination as a buffers in hypovolemic or hypertensive shocks give norepinephrine um, important to not to not give epinephrine because it epinephrine worse this condition and hyperventilation of patient to correct partial acidemia uh, what about a bicarbonate treatment uh, uh, many studies many 
many studies uh, remarks that um, they improve uh, make some improvement in, in cardiac patients with arrhythmias because lactic acid increases the risk of major arrhythmias or decreases the threshold to them. Um, what are the adverse effects of bicarbonate? When we give bicarbonate, we promote uh, alkaline uh, alkaline environment in, in, in blood, and we promote also hypercapnia as a compensation and ionized hypocalcemia. When we have um, alkalosis, uh, calcium going in cells. When we have acidosis, calcium goes in blood, uh, changing from. Uh, this is uh, osteoclast and osteoblast um, work. Hypercapnia increases the cellular acidosis. Hypocalcemia decreases the heart contractility. So we have acidosis. We want to help patient, but we we creating more acidotic as compensatory from hypercapnia and hypocalcemia produce decreased contractility and uh, prolonged QRS complexes on EKG. Also bicarbonate is hypertonic solution and produce intravascular volume overload. Uh, if these things do not help dialysis and hemofiltration. Dialysis is mainly used when nothing helps and patient is in a profuse uh, acidosis. Thank you for your watching. Hope this lecture helping you and if you like them subscribe on my channel. See you soon. Bye.